Howdy folks! It's an amazing day here on the island of Kauai. I'm getting a boat ride um, tour of sorts for free. A friend on the island that I just met up with yesterday hooked me up with a situation with a marine biologist who uh, I guess goes out daily looking for whales and dolphins and scuba diving and stuff. It's just going to be me and him and we're just going to go out and tootle around for a little bit for an hour or something. I'm not sure exactly, but uh, just see what we see. And looking forward to it. I'm just uh, walking up there to meet him. Um, so I'm here in Hanalei uh, on the north shore of Kauai. The reason that I have all this stuff with me is I'm changing camping locations. I was camping at a beach park, a Nini beach park, uh, for the past several nights and am switching over to another beach park campground. Looking forward to this boat ride. We'll see what transpires. All right, so I just did the boat ride with the fellow that I mentioned. It was really amazing. We did not, unfortunately, see any uh, marine life. We saw the spouts of some whales and uh, tried to catch up to them, but, but didn't get to actually um, see any whales or dolphins or anything like that. It was really amazing anyways. Um, just getting great views of the cliffs here um, outside of Honolulu Bay and getting out on the waves and everything. It was just such an amazing day. But I wanted to do another introduction here to give a little bit of a um, explanation about this guy so that some of what we're talking about in the upcoming video is in context a bit. He is researching um, the coral reefs, the dying of the coral reefs and the uh, dying of sea life which is especially accentuated here on Kauai because of military research being done. And so he, he mentions uh, the effects of this in one of the sections of video that I took. So just so that you understand what he's talking about, there are a number of high technology stations, things, I don't know, I don't know exactly what to call them, like broadcast stations, up on the mountains here above Honolulu. And they are using some of the latest technology that can pinpoint a specific location and send a blast of energy there and destroy it. So, for example, they could destroy a submarine from a blast of energy coming from the uh, um, contraptions they have up on the mountains around here. And so they're testing this equipment and sending these, these energy rays into the ocean, and this is disrupting the sea life. It's killing the coral reefs, it's um, causing uh, the deaths of uh, marine mammals, um, etc. So uh, it is a major problem, and he is one of the premier researchers on this, trying to fight against the military and the government and local politicians who are not allowing this information to come to light. So. Um, I learned a lot in the course of this um, couple of hours hanging out with this guy. Here we go, without further ado, coming up is going to be some great footage of um, Hanalei Bay here, out on the water. All right, uh, I'm on the boat here. We're just getting ready to take off in a couple minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have, this boat has got off uh, a month ago when we were doing the filming for a uh, uh, TV show. I mean, we had two drone helicopters, a GoPro mounted underneath the boat, uh -huh. uh, two GoPros, or three GoPros on the boat itself. <laughs> wow, the helicopters were getting footage from up up above, up we above? Have two, two drone helicopters. Oh wow! So yeah, we have just, just tons of shit. Yeah, it was really fun. Sounds fun. And it's also they're operating 
to some degree on uh, Wahoo and Lanai and everywhere that they're operating, the same thing's happening. The reefs are all dying. Yeah. So it's really kind of, you can just see it when they start operating it within a year or two. We got all it starts affecting problems. the... But the other problem we have here is that Kauai has more endangered species per square inch than anywhere on planet Earth. Mm. But the Endangered Species Act has never been enforced here, which just seems so strange to most people. Uh -huh. And so what's happened is that our wetlands here have been uh, highly built in and by folks that you know shouldn't be building in the wetland legally mm. and they shouldn't be building because the people they're building have been some of our government officials and these same government officials uh, used to are in charge of taking care of the environment here for the governor gotcha so so <laughs> they're not going to do anything yeah. so it's kind of like we got we got these people who should be uh, the main people taking care of the environment are actually part of the destruction of the environment yeah that's how they got a lock on things is then uh -huh. then the laws don't get in their way so all of the river right here you see is only about three feet deep two to three feet deep mm -hmm. yep i can see the bottom there no, it's supposed to be about 12 feet deep oh really yep they're digging in the upper river in the wetlands oh okay right in the habitat of all the endangered birds against the violation of the endangered species act i see and i got of course video and everything showing exactly what they're doing uh-huh in California, I used to teach environmental law, uh -huh. and I had the largest endangered species captive breeding zoo for reptiles uh -huh. uh, anywhere on planet Earth. And so I really got a specialty of mine is understanding the Endangered Species Act. Well, folks here are violating it right and left uh -huh. in a huge way, and, uh, and it turns out that a lot of it worked for the state of Hawaii. So good luck in trying to get them to follow the law or anyone else to follow the law. Yeah. If they don't, no one else is going to. That's not their alliance. So. Yeah. And so we've actually had to take legal action against some employees of the governor. Huh. Right from the state of Hawaii. Uh-huh. Legal action against them to get them to enforce and the Endangered Species Act. It used to be like 15 years ago, it was about 4,000 meters per second flow rate. Uh huh. And now it's 1,500. Oh my gosh. And yeah. The whole reason here is all died because it's covered with mud. So we've got mud issue, and then we've got the microwave towers bombarding everything.
Uh-huh. Yeah, then you, when you get out here, you get a real sense, then you're touching it. It's more real. Uh huh. And she worked with the dolphin to corral the bait into a tight ball. And slapping her tail, and the dolphin would go around in front of her and on each side, and then they'd get the bait in a tight ball, and then they would all go down deep and come up with their mouths open. I see. That's a trip. They hunt together, eh? Oh, yeah. It's really fast. Brilliant. Why? So it's got to be frustrating for those tour groups. They go out to try to see something and then... Resistance to they? How do they get in their way? What, how did the what? What, what? what do whales do to? What, oh, nothing. What? It's just the sonar and the electronics kill the whales and dolphins. Oh, okay. You, you mean they, they they sort of got a waiver that if six thousand get yep. killed, then it's not a icy. Yep. So they weren't actively going out and slaughtering them. It was yeah, just yeah. icy. But almost the same. And then yeah. Whales. They show up dead on the beach. I mean, I found a dead pile of whales here on. The uh huh. Took video and that's how they made international. Uh huh. But they permit, but they don't have a permit uh, under the Endangered Species Act to harm the coral reef. Uh huh. And that's what they're doing too. They're harming the coral reef, irreparable damage. And so that's where we're going. It's a real powerful lie, and it has the ability to stop the Navy dead in its tracks. So. Uh huh. If they don't pull another rabbit out of their hat. Yeah. I mean, the president can declare national security and void out any law he wants. To. Yeah. They would have to do that. It was still fun. It was still yeah. exciting. Yeah. Just that's to get get out on those waves and get some perspective. Yeah, that's the way it's been. You gotta just perfect. Exactly what you did day by day, every yeah. day. So. Yeah. Yesterday was the only exception. But yesterday was only just one whale and ten dolphins. Uh huh. They just were all hanging in the same area. Yeah, you just lucked out and got found the right spot there. Yeah. We didn't see anything going all the way to the tunnels. We saw them on the way back. Uh huh. 